Today's video is going to walk through what to do when you run into the post build error message that SaberSim is unable to meet your requested exposures. My name is Andrew and I am one of the coaches over here at SaberSim. Let's jump right in. So I have the SaberSim home screen pulled up here. I'm going to use this build that I ran for today's 12 game MLB main slate. So we're going to jump right into this build here. And in the build, first thing that I'm going to do, as always, talk about this right to left approach is come in and adjust my min uniques here. And uh, the number that we're going to go to that should work is probably about seven here. It's probably very close to the max. And let's say that I want to have diversity, use my min uniques. Let's say I want to take a stand on somebody like Texas here. So I'm going to go over to team stacks. Texas is my highest stack exposure. Maybe I want more of them, right? So I'm mm -hmm. going to increase their exposure from 25% to 35%. And let's say I've done some research that has led me to believe that Justin Verlander is a very good choice on today's slate at pitcher. So I'm going to increase his minimum exposure in my set of 20 lineups to 50% here. I'm going to hit apply. These changes, these two changes that I've made are going to be applied. And lo and behold, I run into an unable to meet exposures message. What this message means is that the changes that I am making to my lineups in the post build are not in tune with what SaberSim has determined are the best options on today's slate from the simulations that we ran when creating your pool of lineups here. Basically, the strategy or the angle that you are trying to take is there are not enough available lineups in the pool to match that angle or strategy. So what you should do here, use this send exposures button. What it's going to do is the changes that I made to Justin Verlander and to the Texas team stacks, it is going to take those exposures and send them back to the home screen. So as you can see, I'm back on the home screen now. Justin Verlander, if I go and look at him at the pitcher position, his minimum exposure of 50% that I wanted is going to be a pre-build input here. And the builder is going to make sure that 50% of my pool lineups have Justin Verlander. And then similarly, if I go over to my team stacks on the home screen, Texas is going to have a minimum exposure of 35%. So this should give me enough lineups in the post build to now meet the exposures that I originally wanted. So this is the best way to do it. Uh, if you happen to click keep editing instead of send exposures, you can also send the exposures from this little arrow that you see next to the search bar. You click on this arrow, you can send projections, you can send exposures, or you can send both. So if you are in the post build, adjusting exposures up and down, this will also send those projection adjustments back to the home screen here. So that is the first way to do it. The second way is to, let's say that I want to click keep editing here. If you notice, although I requested a 50% minimum exposure to Justin Verlander, the builder will tell you how much exposure it can actually meet. So the builder is showing me in the exposure column, hey, I can't give you 50%, which is what this red box indicates, but I can give you 35%. So if I were to lower my minimum exposure to 35% and hit apply, the error message would go away and the red boxes would go away. And now I am back to where I started. No errors, all good to go here. So the second option here is really meet the builder halfway and take the exposure that it can meet. Lastly here, one of the last options that I would suggest is if you are at this 50% min exposure, maybe you're in a time crunch and don't want to go back to the home screen and run a new build. Uh, what you can do here is if you increased your min uniques to seven, basically by increasing your min uniques, you are shrinking the effective pool of lineups that you have to work with. So we might have 500 lineups in the pool, but only so many of those lineups have seven players different from one another. So our effective pool of lineups is much smaller by decreasing our number of min uniques that we are requiring here, we can give the builder more available lineups in our effective working pool here to sift through to find these exposures here. So I lowered my min uniques from seven down to six. I was able to get to this 50% exposure to Justin Verlander here. 
and the error message went away. So in this case, you are trading min uniques for diversity here, right? So, so you're, you're trading min uniques, which is your diversity for the exposures that you ultimately wanted. So that is probably the last option, but the better options are to send those exposures back to the home screen and then rebuild. Uh, one last thing that you can do with that is you can adjust projections to help the builder here. So if you know you want a lot of Justin Verlander, just give him a small projection boost here, maybe about a point or so. So he's at 16.64. I'm going to bump him to 17.75. And then similarly for Texas, I can give them, you know, anywhere from zero to 0 0.5 run increase here. So I'm going to adjust their run total by 0 0.3. So bump them to 6.1. I'm going to hit apply changes to game. And then by changing the team total, this is going to have an effect on the entire Texas team here. So if I were to go and filter for Texas batters here, I can see that this has affected all players with the click of just one button here. But that about does it for today's video. If you guys have any questions about anything we covered in this video, do not hesitate to reach out to us at support at sabersim.com. Take care.